A new wind farm in Cameron County is complete. CBS 4's Tiffany Huertas finds out how this project will affect the community. Tiffany. Marcy, the wind farm is not only bringing electricity to thousands of homes in the Rio Grande Valley, but it will bring millions of dollars in local tax revenue. Inaugurating a wind plant is always a, a very moment of happiness, but today is particularly happy because of doing it in Texas. The San Roman wind farm opened in Los Fresnos off 510 Wednesday morning. It's expected to generate $30 million in local tax revenue. It will be owned and operated by Acciona Energy. We need to make sure that we continue to expand capacity, uh, electric capacity, because that is exactly what investors look for. They want to know that if they're moving to South Texas, to the, to the border, they want to know that there's electricity available that is affordable and reliable. According to Acciona, the wind farm will generate enough clean energy to power 30,000 homes in Cameron County. The San Roman wind farm consists of 31 wind turbines located on private land in Cameron County and residents nearby don't mind them. Margaret Christensen owns Santa Rosa Ranch. In her 2,000 acres, she has five wind turbines. It's just sustainable energy. Okay. And we're very, very excited about it. According to the U.S. Department of Energy, farmers and ranchers can continue to work the land because the wind turbines use only a fraction of the acreage. Wind power plant owners make rent payments to the farmer or rancher for the use of land, providing landowners with additional income. In 2015, annual land lease payments in the U.S. were estimated to $222 million. The San Roman Wind Farm created about 80 full-time jobs during construction and seven permanent jobs during the operation phase. Over its 25-year lifespan, the local tax money will benefit schools, water districts and hospitals. According to Acciona, it's also expected to generate more than $25 million in lease payments to landowners. CO2 emissions and global warming is something that's affecting the world now. According to the U.S. Department of Energy, wind energy doesn't pollute the air like power plants that rely on combustion of fossil fuels such as coal or natural gas. Wind turbines don't produce atmospheric emissions that increase health problems like asthma or create acid rain or greenhouse gases. We need to be we need to be in the leading and the leading edge of, uh, of uh, renewable infrastructure. Projects like this one will help us continue to expand renewable energy. You know, now we're up to 20,000 megawatts of, of uh, wind energy. And so going down this path, encouraging investment like this one is a top priority. Officials with the company say they will be looking at new opportunities in the area soon. In the studio, Tiffany Huerta, CBS4 News and ValleyCentro.com.